Hello everyone and uh, welcome to re-entry. In this video we will be performing a rendezvous uh, and docking operation of the Agena. In the previous video we did the rendezvous burn and uh, the rendezvous burn took us into an orbit that is uh, quite similar to Agena and everything that's left to do now is to perform the final rendezvousing bit and the close approach and docking with the Agena target vehicle. Um, we are currently now at sunset and typically if you wanted, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, return time, uh, you could have uh, used the console to simplify everything. You can see that currently the sun phase was set to 215. So I can go ahead and set the sun phase to say 180 and we would be in daylight. And I'm going to close the um, console and you can see that I'm currently now in front of Agena. Uh, my attitude relative to Agena is quite correct in terms of docking and everything that's left to do now is to close the gap and then insert this front part of Gemini into the docking port of Agena. So with that, I'm going to uh, perform the final pieces of the rendezvousing checklists before executing uh, the docking logic itself. So now I'm uh, performing rendezvous and uh, we've been performing both of the uh, rendezvous burns and everything that's left to do is to wait for our computer to load uh, the rendezvous module. So right now I'm going to use time scale for that to happen. There we go. And now my position relative to Agena will be uh, quite far off and uh, I could have matched our orbits and uh, um, match our attitude relative to each other. But what I wanted to highlight here is that uh, since you're no longer uh, seeing Agena, you will need to find it again. And first of all, I'll complete this checklist and I'll hit start on the computer. And uh, now it asks me to align with Agena in the radar. And I will go ahead and do that. And I know that it's going to be kind of directly here in this direction. Blow me a little bit. Okay. There we go. And now I will need to realign uh, with Agena so that I get a good uh, visual of it. But since uh, it was going to be night and it was 215, then doing this would be a little bit harder because Agena is barely visible, but it does have a few lights on it. So it is possible to actually see it. Uh, but to make it even simpler, you could do two things. Either you could turn on the acquisition light uh, again and it will show this blinking red uh, long range light. But this is, uh, as I said, long range. So it's very bright and, and annoying to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And I'm going to send another command, which are typically used uh, in docking. So I'm going to turn that one on. And this is done in the docking checklist as well. But I wanted to show you that this can be used to uh, to see it a little bit better. There's a light inside of the docking board port, basically. And everything that I now need to do is to close the gap. So I'm going to go into my docking uh, checklist and I'm going to hit run. And I'm going to close this one. So before executing this, I will be maneuvering down towards Agena. Uh, another thing that I do have is exterior lights, so I can set this one to dock, for example. And if I zoom in, uh, you can see that on top of the capsule, there's now a spotlight that kind of illuminates in the forward direction. You can see that some of the light hits the exterior of the spacecraft and goes towards uh, the forward direction. Uh, 
and this can be used to further illuminate Agena as you dock with it. And all I need to do now is to align myself with the target vehicle. And this is where the computer kind of comes in handy. And you can see that there are some digits that are uh, available on the IVIs. And those can be used to align yourself perfectly with the Gina. So the first thing that I will need to do is to uh, align myself uh, with a Gina. And if I now switch the radar here, since I know exactly where it is, I can see it out the window. I don't need the radar to keep pointing it. Now I can go into the computer mode. And if I now maneuver towards these needles, you can see that the IVIs keeps changing. And I will get into uh, some attitude. And if I now look out of the window, uh, you won't really see a Gina anymore. And the reason for this is that I've now, I've now aligned my orientation to match a genus. And now, if our orientations are uh, aligned, I can use the IVIs to uh, figure out where a Gina is by using these instruments. So first of all, uh, this value, value is how far I am from a Gina in my current attitude. Uh, in kind of the forward and aft direction and you can also see that if it's increasing or decreasing if I'm going further away from it. I also know that I will need to be going down to uh, bring it up in front of me and this is basically your, at the, uh, your position relative to Agena. There it is, and then I'll start to burn to bring in kind of the last. It doesn't need to be perfect yet, uh, but eventually it will need to. Now, all I need to do is to burn forward, and I will be closing in on Agena. Performing nighttime docking is uh, not ideal and typically would uh, want to avoid that uh, with mission planning, but I wanted to kind of highlight uh, that it can be done and that you can use all of these instruments to perform the docking, even though uh, you only see part of Agena. So now uh, I will continue executing the docking checklist. I will in, uh, extend my index. That's basically this thing I had of uh, my nose that comes up. Uh, it's used to dock. And then it wants me to turn off the acquisition light, uh, as I've already done. And then it wants me to turn on the docking light. That's also something that I've already done. Two, one, five. And if you go into the checklist, you can see that uh, all of these things are uh, are explained here. So 201 is setting the display of Agena to bright. Okay, I'm coming in quite fast, so I will need to uh, correct my trajectory a little bit. There's always drift in space, and it will be more and more noticeable the closer you get to it. I, I will do the rest visually. And 
now we can see on external view that uh, we're getting closer and closer to the docking port of Agena. And there we have docking. And now, uh, if Agena would be rigid, I would send uh, 220. And uh, ahead of docking, you see that there's a light on the panel. It says dock or rigid. So when you're performing the docking, you should be showing dock. This means that it's ready to dock. And once you kind of connect with it, it's going to shift over to rigid once everything is set. Now I've been uh, performing the docking itself and I've reached uh, Agena and everything should be uh, good. Uh, now I will need to go ahead and follow the post, uh, oops, post docking checklist. And that's basically to just turn all of the lights off uh, since you won't be needing those that power. So then uh, command one, four, zero and then exterior lights off in case you used it. And now everything should be quite dark. Now I'm going to use time scale to get into uh, daylight. I can also go ahead and set my attitude to sharpen forward. We're now in daylight and I can go to external view and you can see that I'm docked uh, during a nighttime operation and everything seems to be in order. And uh, yeah, that's it for docking. Uh, so basically in this video, we went through how to uh, kind of go from a rendezvousing uh, to a final rendezvousing point. That's a close approach. And then you shift into a docking mode where you uh, will be aligning yourself uh, with the attitude of uh, Agena and zero out the IVIs uh, one axis by one on the kind of up and downwards direction and the sideways. And then you would kind of close in the gap between uh, you and the target vehicle to uh, perform the docking itself. Uh, once docking is complete, uh, you will go through the post rendezvous, uh, the post docking checklist, and then start performing everything that you want to do with Agena. Uh, so, quick, uh, uh, quick uh, mention for Agena uh, it is that it got an engine, and you can use commands to prepare that engine and get it into. Um, a state where it can ignite and then you can use this one to actually perform burns and that's a manual operation and you can use the panel on it to kind of see how much fuel it got left in in seconds and so on but yeah with that i want to uh, say thank you for watching and i know that uh, rendering and docking is one of the most complex procedures in a in the gemini program and it will take a lot to kind of figure out and learn everything that it takes to get there but i hope that this video will help you on this journey uh, so that you can perform the docking uh, yourself uh, so yeah thanks for watching i hope you liked it uh, please leave some feedback in the comments below and uh, hit that like like and subscribe button thanks again